We're here, we are in Greece, and everybody's in costumes, and I want to wear a costume. We're going to head back to the museum, of course, this is Nancy Drew, Labyrinth of Lies, and I am your Gibbs, and I really do appreciate all of you folks watching the videos, commenting, and supporting everything that is going on in this crazy playthrough. Uh, just as a reminder, this is a blind playthrough, I'm not going to do everything in exactly perfect order. I am planning on live streaming this game actually at some point, and uh, that will actually allow me to play with all of you guys together. So if you haven't actually followed me at hitbox.tv slash your gibbs, you should definitely go over there and follow me there because that is where I live stream. So that's right folks, I'm going to be live streaming Nancy Drew. This particular game in fact, very soon. If not already, and that'll be actually more of a interactive second playthrough. Hopefully I'll be quicker. Hopefully. <laughs> I'd All like right. to take a closer look at the poster. So we're gonna have to Locked. figure out how to get in there. I did notice there's a mailbox over here. This is the exact book I needed. Oh, thanks, guys. Ah, so we're gonna have to use this to figure out the the vase puzzle up there. With a wide mouth, round body, and handles on either side. Okay, good. Good to know. That is gonna help us out big time. So I did uh, think about this a little bit further and we're gonna go back to the office over here. We do need to get in here to get the coin to give the boat guy. I forget what his name was, but uh, we need to do that. And in order to do that, we are gonna have to actually call for permission. So we're just gonna go in the office here. Come on. And make a phone call. We're gonna call uh, Melina. Hello, hello, pick up, pick up. Hi. Hi. Can I get a key to the coin display? You'll need to open the filing cabinet first. The key to the filing cabinet is hidden inside the box with the animal figurines. Pair up the animals with the images so the animal and image pair represent the same god. You got it. I know you weren't brought here for this, but I need you to learn about provenance. As in verifying the authenticity of the arch? You're as sharp as they say. That's it. Isn't that normally left to the experts? Generally, yes, but... If we're dealing with theft of any kind, I need you to become an expert. Instantly? <laughs> Unfortunately. But you'll come to it naturally. I'm flattered, but what makes you say that? You will find that it's like solving a mystery, which I hear you're pretty good at at home. I'll do my best. Proving provenance is a classic whodunit. You look at a vase or a painting and you follow the clues to see who... done it. Who painted or sculpted, or chiseled the work in question. When you put it that way, I think I'm comfortable with the methodology. Perfect. You'll find what you need on the computer. Niobe may be able to help you. Okay. Later. Goodbye. Later. You know what, since we've actually got the phone in front of us, we're gonna go and give Frank and Joe a quick call and say thanks, boys, for the book. How was the flight? Couldn't tell you. I slept right through. Slept on a flight? What witchcraft is this? She's a witch! Burn her! Hi, Joe. I do not consort with witches. Our in-flight movie was about Salem, and apparently Joe took away the wrong lesson. <laughs> how have I lived this long without knowing how fun reckless accusations are? Anyway, how's Greece? Well, I'm having a bit of a problem. Hmm, perhaps you should try stepping into water and letting me know if you float. I'll add that to the list. Whoa. Have you been able to look into the entire cast? Yeah. You're dealing with something really serious here. Tell me more. That's the thing. We're not sure. First red flag is the staff. As in, where is everyone? We reached out to the network to see if we could track down any of the workers who left. No one would talk? No one could be found. Oh. Keep quiet on that until we figure out what's happening. We can fill you in on everyone at the museum, but... These are dangerous people. You have to tread lightly. Tread lightly? She's so bad at that. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Sorry. Just be careful. Something big is happening. Dangerous people? They're dressed like Greek people and they're like, I don't know. All right. What did you find out about Gregor? Did you notice anything about his Greek accent? 
What Greek accent? Right? He's an American, and Gregor is not his name. <laughs> really? Really. So, who is he? He may be an actor, like he says. We can't figure out why he changed his name. But we did find out a bit about his past. What's his story? Pretty sad, actually. He's an only child. His parents died when he was really young. He grew up completely alone. In and out of foster care until he aged out of the system. I may explain the assumed name. Right. Maybe the name has some meaning. Right. It could be a stage name. Like a nom de plume, but for actors. Or it could be something more serious. Like a nom de guerre. Unlikely. Either way, <laughs> we'll look into it. It's a nom, that's for sure. We all know that. Did you find anything out about Xenia? She seems to be more or less who she says she is. We know she's from New York. She grew up around a lot of artists and professors and the like. Looks like she was put in contact with the production's organizers and jumped at the chance to direct. That seems reasonable. It does, but we're going to keep looking. The dots connect, but who knows if we're seeing all the dots. Oh, I know that feeling. What can you tell me about Niobe? She is an amazing artist. Yeah? Well, she was. I saw a few of her pieces at the Met. Stunning. Her painting spoke to my soul. I didn't know you were a fan of painting. Vance, I'm more cultured than Greek yogurt. He's been saving that one. <laughs> I have. I was toying with Euro puns for a while, but I couldn't figure out if it was Euro or Hero or Gyro. So I moved to Tzatziki for a while, and that was a dead end. Now, Saganaki... Reeled in, buddy. Right. Her work is abstract, but not. How so? The docent told me that under each abstract painting is a photorealistic painting. Huh? She paints over her work. She replaces the painting with the feeling of the painting. The amazing thing is that you can sense it. You know what's there. Interesting. So there's something underneath. She paints and then she paints again? If Niobe's such a talented artist, why is she acting? The part Joe left off is likely the reason. Her career is steeped in controversy. In what way? She was accused of art forgery, but it's not true. You don't want it to be true. Of course I don't. But the docent I met said what happened to her was a tragedy. I mean, he looked like he was going to cry just by thinking about it. <laughs> okay. What happened? He wouldn't say. All he said is her paintings will never bear her name. Apparently, everyone knows she's lost all credibility in the art world, but no one seems to know why. I'll watch her from a distance for now. That does seem kind of interesting. Do you think Molina could be involved with the missing artwork? An inside job. Wouldn't be the first time. You should talk to her. See what she says. That's always so hard to do, but comes with the territory, I guess. It's all in the tone of voice. Is that so? Yeah. Check this out. Are you the type of terrible person who steals? And this works? Not at all. Just be direct. And if she gets upset, just say... Yes? Take it away, Frank. That's what I say, at least. How does that help? <laughs> that I found an help odd list in Gregor's bag. That's where I'd keep an odd list. What's it say? It's a list of names. I guess that's odd. All lists are odd, come to think of it. Read me the names. Mikhail Dimitrov. Grant Nagy. Etienne Martin. Kurt Mueller. Emma Portnoy. And Kostas Bezos. We'll look into it. No goodbye? No, no, like, imaginary hugs? Come on, boys, you could do better than that. Alright, that's enough of that chit chat. We're gonna go ahead and take care of this puzzle. We should be able to access this now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, look. Magnifying glass works now. I need now. to match the animals to the correct symbol. So we do have Greek gods here. Uh, so if we kind of look through this, and uh, let's see if we go back here. Quite a lot of them here. And uh, Zeus, for example, King of Gods. Uh, so yeah, so we gotta match... Put the animals inside, I suppose. Oh, look! Look what we have here! Hehehe. <laughs> is this a giraffe? Or is this a deer? It's a giraffe. I'm gonna put the giraffe right there, underneath the hunting one. Uh, I'm going to say this is a lovebird. We'll put that under the heart. Uh, what else do we have here? This has got to be a swimming dude. 
Which goes where? Sure. This is a cow. That goes under like the harvesty one. This is a vulture that's kind of warish like. This is an owl, so that's more for knowledge, I think. And then Zeus gets that. Cool, key me up. So I've got myself a nice key for the filing cabinet. We're gonna go ahead and pop that in right here. Ooh, I can open both. These must be the tags for the display. I will take those. Uh, what's this, time card? Interesting. Not sure why this matters, but interesting. Personal leave. Holiday pay. Quit. Why did he quit? Huh. Quit. Too f fired. Wow, what's going on here? Now we need that key for the coin display. <gasps> I think I know what that is for. It's for the computer. It's the computer password. Yay. I mean, that's a good place to hide it, isn't it? Let's check it out. Once I can figure out how to get to the... <laughs> there we go. Let's try. I love this keyboard. This is crazy. I don't know if I can type it. Can I type it? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. K-L-E-R-O-T-E-R-O-N. Look at this! Look at what we have here. Messenger, the ferryman. I should mention that Cherion is built to be a coin operated. But for obvious reason, you'll only react to a replica coin, not that you try to use a real coin, but please don't. There's something that's been keeping me up at night, but it's probably nothing. Still, I have a favor to ask when the police came. They searched the set directly below the stage, but I don't know if they thought to search all the sets. Can you scour the sets just to make sure there's nothing odd going on? The sets are extremely elaborate and many of the controls are built into the set itself. So you'll have to be creative to find your way through. Plus who knows what changes Zena has made. Be careful, the flames you see are very real. Do not touch the river equipment, huh? Welcome my dear expert in training, your crash course begins now. You have three pieces you must verify Providence on. Start with the gold leaf necklace. Okay, so there's a Providence program. I'm growing more certain that pieces I'm tracking down won't be found. Engage the cast, but don't push too hard. Nancy, I've completely forgotten to tell you. I have a courier coming for the tickets to tonight's show. Once you've assigned the first group seating, please drop the tickets in the mailbox outside the museum front entrance. Any other tickets you assign our will call tickets for the later performances and don't need to be printed out. Also, I'm going to be doing a lot of travel and might not always have time to explain everything. I'll send you what you need to know about the museum using this messenger. So these are actually all messages for Nancy. Clever. I need to assign seats according to everyone's requests. Oh boy. We'll come back to this. Wait, is this all it? I'm going to just take a screenshot of that. And we'll come back to that. I just want to see what else is going on here. Connect camera to USB. Okay, cool, cool. We'll do that at some point. Looks like I'll need a unique password to access the archives. Okay. What is this? Want to know a secret? Are the seats packed with the dead? Should I line you up and punch you down into the land of the dead? Well, do you want to know a secret? So polite. Oh, I mustn't talk in the theater. Curses for all the gods. I've gone and broken the fourth wall, but no bother. Your beloved real world is itself theater. You're used to pretend, used to believing what you want to believe. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Okay, we're going to come back to this stuff. I just want to see what else is in here. You have my... Sympathy. And you have mine, Hermes. I just drove a train through that pause. People, come I was on. Trying to cry. Yeah, I, a... I just drove a train through there. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna just throw. I'm not gonna like throw it on her. Way too much silence. Okay, just pick I it up a little bit. Okay, okay, pick it up a little bit. Start over, you Hermes. You what is this? Okay. 
Why don't you give me what? How how would you want it said? Okay. Yeah. Daughter, hear me, daughter. Look, did you see that? Did you hear that? That was emotion in my voice. <laughs> okay, so I have determined that I'm gonna need some folks to help me record this play. I am determined, because <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, what's this? Whoa, what? Oh my gosh, it's a matching game. Okay, cool, we'll come back to that. So much to do in this game, it's insane. Like, we haven't even touched the all these mini games here in the phone. Incredible, incredible value that you get with these Nancy Drew games. It's certainly one of the main factors for me that uh, really is important is just the value that we get. We, we pay $20 for the full game and you get like the the strategy guide and you get all this stuff to do. It's kind of in, kind of crazy. Crazy good. Okay, I'm looking for the coin thing. Come on. There it is. Ah! So I do have the key for that. Let's see if I can pay the ferryman with this. All right, we are going to do that. Let's go and visit the ferryman. Just kind of jump our way down there. Oh, he's here. We'll talk to him next time. Uh, oh, actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm going to the wrong spot. I need to go to the this spot right here. Down we go. All right, folks. In the next episode, we will pay the ferryman and we'll find out what is on the other side of this set. Thank you all for watching. Nancy Drew. I'm your Gibbs. We'll see you next time.